Hello, it's Polish Paul VR, welcome to my channel and in this video I want to talk about Walking Dead Saints and Sinners and give you all the official information about the game. As probably many of you know, a couple of weeks ago we've had this release date, kind of rumored, whatever, that the game will be coming out on 28th of April because it showed up on the Metacritic. I reported on it, but it was only a rumor. I always say when I report on rumors, take it with a bit of, bit of salt because sometimes it might be not true. And if I can, I try to debunk them. But also to save the confusion, I decided to make the video about this game, but with the information that's coming from the only official source, which is the developers of the game. So let's just do it. They're still maintaining that the game will come out this spring and basically they saying you will see this anytime before June 20th. Anytime means it might come out next week, it might come out on June 19th. We just don't know, so we just have to wait, but also of course stay tuned to the channel and as soon as I know then I will be passing it on. But like I said, no matter how many times we can ask the developers, they always give us the same answer and that's the only official answer, which is Spring 2020. The game will be coming out only on the PlayStation Store, so there won't be a physical release. I know on PC they've had those fancy editions where you could get digital code for the game, but also some physical goodies like your backpacks and some awesome Walking Dead stuff. Will they do that with PSVR or not? I don't know, nothing announced, so as of now probably no, but of course you never know, maybe if they announce release date maybe it will happen. But as I say, this is official information, so now the game is gonna be digital only and all the extra fancy editions are not announced. There will be no pre-orders for the game at all, the developers confirmed it, they said they basically gonna just announce release date and then you're gonna have to wait and just go to the store on the day and buy the game. Which means why I think many of us gonna be sitting with our remote switched on and waiting for the store to update and check it uh, every five seconds. But that's what we do and that's what happens when the good game come in we getting excited and that's the fun part of it. On April 14th on the Twitter they said the game is almost done so it's you know it's just around the corner but the developers, different developers seen it differently for some, almost done mean when they getting ready to put it on the store, sorting out the last bits and bobs for others is when they getting ready to go to Sony's certification. So almost done is a good news because we know they really far in the development, but of course we still have to wait for the release date, but glad to see that most of the game is finished. They didn't announce the price, so we can only go by what the PC price of the game is and on PC the game cost $39.99, but keep in mind that their last game Archangel when it's released for PlayStation VR, it was $10 more expensive, I don't know why, it just was. Will it be the same case with Saint and Sinners? We don't know at the moment, I can only tell you that the price is unknown. And also let me just tell you a bit about Archangel because I really like the game. This is one of those early PlayStation VR games which beautifully showed off the system and had some epic moments. The first time you saw that massive mech that was great and also the final boss battle was epic. Very challenging game and of course now they moved on doing Walking Dead which is much bigger and also much better, great reviews on PC, so awesome. I'm not gonna go to the story or anything like that, I just wanted to give you the most important, the most uh, wanted information. So that's in this video, if you like it then let me know if you want me to do more videos like that and of course if you like what you see in then please press a like because it does help the channel a lot and if you're new to the channel and are not subscribed then subscribe, it's always better when it's more of us and that's it bye.